Hello everyone, welcome to SK Live. I'm your host, Indrajit Basu. Today we have a very, very special person with us. He is former West Indian entrepreneur, Lance Gibbs, sir. How are you, sir? Very Wonderful, good. thank you. Good to see you. Thanks, I mean, thanks. I can't, I can't imagine my luck that I'm, I'm talking to uh, one of the biggest legends of the game. Well, one of them. <laughs> no, still, still. And, and and how is how is everything? You're in Florida, I believe, right? Yes, I live in Miami, Florida. Okay, I've so been, I've been here for nearly twenty years. Wow, wow! And 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 what what makes you to be in Florida? I mean, why not in the West Indies? That is picture is. Well, my, my my ch children went to school here. Okay, so I had I had to say, through university, you know. Yeah. So, so I had well, to make I had to make sure that everything was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Parents have that have that kind of duty. So, what what exactly are you? I mean, are you engaged professionally some somewhere even now? No, I'm retired. I was in the shipping business. Okay. So most of the importers in the Caribbean they knew me quite well. Okay. And and I I work with the shipping line. Okay. Okay, that's how you came here. Yes, it's been long and beautiful. So, I, do you, don't you miss your home in the West Indies in Guyana? I go there quite often. And okay. during, during the shipping business, I used to travel to Guyana quite often. Okay, now these days, when was the last time you went there? Uh, last year, I think it was. Okay, good to, good to hear that. So, are you in touch with your teammates, old teammates? Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of them in Barbados when I go. I spend time in Barbados. So I see quite a few of the boys, you know. Gary, I mean, Gary, Wes, Everton, so, who is no yeah. longer with us. You know? Yes, 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 yes. So I mean, I, what, what did you still talk about your cricket, cricketing days, what you did? And, and anything else? <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, you, I mean, what I mean, you meet you you meet, meet Sir Gary Sobers. I mean, what, what do you talk 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 to him at this at this point of your life when you shared everything with him? Well, catches that he might have dropped. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you do you follow West Indies cricket as, as much as? Uh, yes, you, yes, it's, it's a little difficult now. Okay. Due to the due to the uh, the the epidemic that is on yeah yeah but uh <clears throat> it's quite good you know i follow it quite a lot but it it, it must have uh you know their performance in england must have made you proud the way they fought in the in the first test match <clears throat> in the first test the first test was a beautiful one yeah the second test here is a little dicey but they're still in the lead as far as the the series is concerned you know yeah 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 so someone uh, uh, called Mr. Dave Cameron. He's saying Lance, Lance is looking great. <laughs> he's not a bad boy. He's got some faults, but he's not a bad fellow. No, <laughs> no he's, he's really. You're looking actually looking quite quite impressive. So how 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 keenly you? Last time I I remember you were the manager of the team in '91 of the West Indies team. Right, After, right. So, so after that, did you get any offer to work with them? You know, in in, in any capacity well I, I i did a lot of work with stanford okay and that's the double the, the 20 over games yes yes and there was a big game against england that we played yeah but you know uh after a while it is left out of somebody else to start doing that kind of work yeah 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 so I, I, are you still uh, in touch with the Stanford uh, that that initiative they took that that year? You know, bringing in so many players. No, 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 that that has gone by the wayside. Is is over and done with. Okay, it's, it's not going to happen anymore. But how no, how no, no. how do you see US since you're in Florida? How you see the market there for cricket? For cricket. For cricket. Yeah. Uh, we've got a beautiful ground. Yeah. And I was instrumental in a lot of the dealings with it, you know. Okay. But uh, cricket, only only the West Indians and the Indians and Pakistanis, they play. Yeah. It's difficult to get the Americans to play cricket, you know. Yeah. 
So it's, it's, it's going to take time. But we've got a beautiful stadium, and things are going quite well. Okay, okay. I mean, nice to hear that. I mean, you know, going back to uh, the 50s and 60s, you know, I mean, uh, people still talk about how you became the first spinner to enter that 300 club, you know, 300 club wickets in test cricket and second bowler to do so. I mean, tell me about that, that phase of your career when you got so many wickets in early 60s for the West Indies. Well, <clears throat> bowling is a such that you exploit weaknesses. If you see a batsman has got a weakness, yeah. you use it to the best of your ability. Okay. Uh, our fellas these days, they, they just run in and bowl. They don't. They've got to give thought more to the cricket. It's like doing mental arithmetic, you know, you don't make the same errors all the time. Yeah. If you see a batsman has got a, a weakness, you try yeah. to exploit that weakness. Yeah. And if you try to exploit it and you, you're successful, well, then you're going to get, get to the top. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, how was it that time, you know, when you, when you entered that club, that 300 mark, you know, the first spinner to do so? <clears throat> what, 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 what was the surrounding? You know, that was the time when West Indies had some uh, ferocious fast bowlers. You know, they could do miracles on the field at, you know, and, and, and being part of a team and being a spinner. <clears throat> So, how did you manage to keep yourself in that kind of maintain that kind of standard? Well, I, I played until I was nearly 40. Yeah. And I figured that it was time to leave, you know? Yeah. Uh, there were other spinners that had been holding along, holding on for quite a while. Yeah. There's fellas like Albert Padmore, you know, Harper. They, 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 they kept coming and they were not being given a chance because I was there all the time. Yeah. So it was fair enough <clears throat> that they get a chance to exist, you know? Yeah. No, but, but you know, I mean, uh, being able to make a mark uh, amongst all these great fast bowlers, that itself was quite creditable. How do you do that? Yeah, but the fast bowlers came after I left. You had okay. Holden, you had Holden, you had Roberts, you had Garner. Okay. You, you had Croft. Yeah. You know, they they were four of the, the best fast bowlers at that time. Okay. And they they exploit the weaknesses of the batsman. Yeah, they did. And you know, I mean I, I remember reading a lot about you. I've of course not seen you bowling uh, uh, in live matches. But you know you were very accurate. You know you were very economical. You you could hit the uh, the spot. You know, hundred out of hundred times. And what was the secret behind that? Well, if you find a weakness in a batsman, it's the only way you're going to get him out is by exploiting that weakness. Okay. And I, I use that to the best of my ability. And 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 can you show me your fingers? You know we we heard a lot about your. They're, they're big. They're big. They're big. <laughs> Yeah. It, will take, it will take over your face. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it easy to grip the ball, or what was what was special about your your holding the ball? Well, as I said, uh, I I my length and direction was particularly good. I uh, exploited weaknesses, yeah. and if you exploit that weakness, you're going to get results. Yeah, yeah. I Every know what batsman. No matter who he is, has yeah. got a weakness somewhere along the line. And if you could find that weakness early in his career, yeah. you use that to the best of your ability. So those days, there were no video video uh, uh, evidence, you know, of, of the opponent batsman. So you, how, how did you do it? I mean, just seeing someone bat for like, you know, for two seasons, three seasons, can you... You, when, when, you, when, you, when you're given a job to do, you do it to the best of your ability. Okay. You, you look to exploit whatever weakness you could find. Yeah. And use that weakness to the best, to the best of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did that. My first, first class wicket. Yeah. My first test wicket. Yeah. Was Wakar Hassan. Yeah. Caught, caught Everton Weeks at first slip. Okay. And Everton Weeks turned to me and said, Lance, you've got a long way to go. 
Okay. I I sort of exploited, you know, whatever the great players that we've had could yeah. offer me. Yeah. And use that to the best of my ability. Yeah. When I went to Barbados for the first time after my my my, my best man. Yeah. At my wedding was Clyde Walcott. He was living in Barbados in Guyana at the time. Okay. The next home I stayed at was Everton Weeks in Barbados. Okay. And the third place I stayed was Frank World in, in Jamaica. Okay. So I spoke a lot with the great players who could help you along the line. Okay. And that, that is very important. Yeah. 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 Mr. Dave Cameron is asking that, you know, to ask you about the, your best batting performance. <laughs> Dave Cameron? Yeah, he's, he's, he's online. He's watching us. He's and, watching and he's us. asking about my best batting performance? Yes. <laughs> I was a bowler that could bat. Yeah. yeah. I, I have never been out as night watchman. Okay. And I've been, I've been there on numerous occasions. Yeah, yeah. When I played, they had never had helmets. Yeah. And fellas used to bowl bumpers and all sorts of different things. That they... Yeah. So, I mean... Uh, go ahead. No, I, I, you were saying something. Sorry. So, if you can lift your laptop a little more, with, I, we, we can see your face a little more. Yes. Even though there, you're, you're, you have lots of lovely uh, uh, memories behind you, as we can see. Yeah, that's me, the, the Queen of England. Yeah. yeah it's been good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My 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 wall is decorated with uh, pictures and trophies all on the top there. Yeah. So I've had a, a great time as far as cricket is concerned. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. You you can't buy a trophy. You you've can't. Buy give, it. You've given one, and your name is written in all forms. Absolutely, absolutely. And these memories last forever. You know. Exactly. Yeah, so I, I would pass this on to my grandsons and, and daughters. Absolutely. So how, how was it? I mean, you, you, you had a lovely uh, Australian tour, I remember, in the early 60s, where you had the first hat trick. So can you run us through what, what was that? I mean, in, I think it was in Sydney when you had the hat trick, right? At no, no, no. It was Adelaide. Adelaide. Sorry, I beg your pardon. S was Sydney, I, I got three biggest in four balls. Okay. But I, I had to wait because Ram and Val were still the main spinners in the West Indies team. Okay. Uh, Ram complained a bit about the wicket, you know, due to the fact that they were always that hard and he wasn't getting the type of turn that he's used to. Yeah. But as I said before, I, I used variations and different things to get batsmen out. And in Sydney, the game against New South Wales, I got four wickets, and Frank said, uh, Frank Warrell, the captain, said, Lance, you're in the test match, and Frank and Val, Ram, you're out. And it was no looking back. Uh, I, got four, I got a hat trick in Adelaide, yeah. and then I played for New South, New, New, uh, I played for South Australia. Okay, yes, you did, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, which, which uh, team played your bowling the best? It was in India, because I got my, my career best against India at all times. Okay. I, I remember coming down, the, coming down the pavilion steps after lunch. India were 150-odd for, for two. Yeah. And Frank tossed the ball to me because I had already bowled twenty something overs. Wow. I uh figured that the captain figured that I should be able to get some wickets now. And I bowled fifteen overs, fourteen maidens, and got eight wickets for six runs against India and finished the game in no time. Wow. <laughs> so which my which... next my, my next best performance was against India at uh at the new stadium in Bombay. Okay. One, not, Bra not Bradbourne Stadium. What was it called now? One, one Kerry Stadium. One CCI, Kerry. What Bravo, was it called? 
one kid is stadium one kid is stadium for cci right cci is bravon stadium but bravon uh, bravon stadium mm -hmm. okay yeah i i think i got uh kavaska bowl down there he made 90. okay mm -hmm. can you check it i i don't remember all these scores <laughs> <laughs> So I and and how was it? I mean, uh, I I remember when you played in India, everyone everyone talked about your bowling, the way you and you 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 really connected well with the crowd. I mean, you waved. Yeah, at... yeah, yeah. The the crowd is very important as far as you as a cricketer is concerned. Yeah. If they go against you, you could be in trouble. <laughs> I remember I remember going to Jamaica for the first time. Okay. To play a test match. Okay. And Glendon Gibbs, who was a cousin of mine, had dropped a catch. Okay. He dropped Arthur Morris, who made a, a double century. Okay. And there was this fellow in the stand said, Gibbs, you come back here. And the man turned and said, Don't you see that's a young boy? <laughs> so I waved at him, you know. Yeah. And uh, I've always been quite nice with the, the crowds. I, I never used to feel close to them. Because okay. I was either in slip or gully or somewhere like that. Okay. But uh, the crowd must be acknowledged. Yes. Joy. Joy, yeah. come and fix this. This is dropped off at the back there. One minute. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. If you can hold, you know, lift the laptop a little so that I can see your face. Yeah. Pull it forward a bit now. Ah, uh, that's it. If yeah, it's great now. Yeah, if you can just uh, tilt. Yeah, that's better, sir. That's wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, you're connecting with the crowd. You know, you always give them autographs. Uh, you, you right, showed... right. They, they pay to come and see a game and, you know, if you could help them with an autograph here or there. But uh, in India, they picked up pieces of paper from all over the world place, man. Yeah. So, I... I stopped Jazik Taylor from signing autographs. Yeah. Because the, the, the slip of paper was not particularly clean, you know? Okay. He came down with chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, fellas are very, very keen to get autographs. I don't know if they sell them or what, but you yeah. could only sign that, that amount, you know? Okay. Okay. And, and you know, you played against the likes of uh, Tiger Patodi. So how, how was it? I mean, that time in 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 seventy. Uh, Tiger was a very good friend of mine. Uh, I think my wife stayed at his home when she went to India. Yeah. Yeah, we were very good friends. And he, he was a he was a great cricketer, great cricketer. Now tell us about those days when you know these cricketers used to invite uh, you know the opponent teams to their homes. So how was it? Was it was sort of a party, you know, on the field. So much of competition, off the field. Cricket has always been like that, you know. You, you share so much of rapport. Yeah, so yeah, much. yeah. It's, it's a friendly. It's always very friendly. Yeah. And that's how it should be. Yeah. It's a game played between two teams, and the, the team that is best, who was the best team at the time, would come out the winners. Yeah. You know. There, there are some individuals that I would not mention who were not particularly nice to play against. Yeah. But uh, cricket is, is a, f a very friendly game. Yeah. The camaraderie that is involved is great. Yeah. And we should always stick to that. So when you see modern cricket, I mean, do you think that that gentleman spirit is still there? Is it intact? Is it... Is it being, uh, you know, uh, dented? With, 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 some, with some players, not all of them. Okay. You know, individuals that play the game, they come from varying backgrounds. Yeah. And therefore, they, 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 they do things to suit themselves, you know. But yeah. when you're playing with a team, yeah. you must always think of your team first. Absolutely. If you could, if you could help them, you help them. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, one of our uh, f uh, former captains, uh, Chandu Bode, remembers uh, you very fondly, you know, uh, the way you came and, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he was a nice man. He played in the league in England as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you, uh, if you can lift your laptop a little because your face is, yeah, that's that's better. Yeah, I can see you. Uh, one more, you know, we are playing too much of T uh, Twenty ODI cricket. Do you think Test cricket is losing its little bit of uh, sheen because of this too much of T Twenty and ODI cricket happening? Batsmanship and, and bowling to get an individual out yeah. is a science that. Uh, it's forgotten in, in 20 over crickets. Yeah. It's, it's a, a bit of a slug, you know? Yeah. yeah. You, 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 you want to see grace and elegance in, in, in a batsman. Yeah. A bowler thinking a batsman out. And if, for example, you, you find fellas just lashing at every ball, it's not the type of game that I'm used to. Yeah. You know? And a lot of cricketers would think the same way that I'm thinking. Uh, I, I remember Lawrence Rowe batting in Jamaica, in, in, in Barbados when he made 304. Yeah. And it was probably the greatest innings I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, there were people from all over Barbados rushing the next day to see Rowe bat. Yeah. And it was a great, great innings, you know. Beating cover point, going through extra cover, square cut, leg guns. Batsmanship is something that you, you cherish and, and think about. And if you can think about it to a great extent, you're going to have glory in it. Absolutely. But, you know, which is little uh, heartening also to see the spinners uh, losing all the art of, you know, uh, giving a lot of air to the ball. They're just going flat out, you know, they just go, do flat. Flat, but, uh, but that's that's due to the twenty that's due to twenty over and fifty over. Yeah. You get so uh, accustomed to that and therefore their variation and length and direction has changed a lot. Yeah. I mean you, you would see fellas bowl twenty overs, sixty runs. Yeah. Uh I would figure that is not very good bowling. Yeah. Because if you're really working on a batsman, he shouldn't have that necessity to hit you or anywhere yeah you you give a lot of air to the ball you know you you flighted the ball all the time i mean and you never it, got it, it, it depends on the batsman yeah i mean you don't if i'm bowling at the sobers for example in barbados yeah you know you, you try to exploit he, he made a, a double century against us and i think he was dropped by my wicket keeper. Yeah. But, you know, fellas work out things. And if you work it out, you're going to be successful. Uh, Sober's got 200 runs, but I still got both 50 overs for, you know, 60 runs. Okay. Okay. But, you know, uh, do you remember the Indian spinners? How, how, uh, how do you rated the Indian spinners during that time in 60s, 70s? Ah, uh, you had Betty, Bersano. Yeah. Uh, Chandrasekhar. Was it Chandrasekhar? Yes, yes, yes. And Venkat Raghavan. Right. <clears throat> they, they bowled quite well. They, the wickets were prepared for them. But they yeah. also had to put up with me. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So which which uh, uh, team played you the best? I mean, you you could really have problems getting them out. Which which team was that during your playing days? I would say uh, the English fellas played quite well. Okay. Uh, they they didn't try to do anything unusual. Uh, Colin Cowdery, his pads were the broadest in the world. Okay. And, you know, on the front foot, even though the ball would hit the wicket, the umpire is not going to give him out. Okay. So things have changed and it's changed to, to suit <clears throat> batsmen as well as bowlers. Yeah. You know, uh, if I'm bowling off spin and I'm turning the ball a lot, yeah. I'd have to go wide outside off stump so that they don't end up going down leg side because they only got two men behind there. Okay. So you, you work out things to the best of your ability and you 
you do what is right as far as this batsman is concerned. Absolutely. <clears throat> you at some point also bowled leg spin, right? So how did off spin come along? Well, I started as a leg spinner. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't bowl the googly. Okay. So I would bowl leg spin, leg spin, then an off, an off break. And the coach at the time in Guyana said, Lance, you can't set a field for both. You've got to bowl either one or the other. Okay. I was more accurate with my off spin. So I decided to bowl off spin for the rest of my career. I still play bowl at leg break every now and again. I got a couple of wickets. Yeah. I even bowl seamers and get wickets. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, I've heard stories that when you grip the cricket ball, it actually looked like a a, a TT ball in front of, in, in, in your hand. You know, it was so small because of the size of your fingers, of your hand. Well, you know, you, you're, you're, you're gifted with certain things. There's some yeah. fellas that are, are, are big, big ears, big nose, big whatever you could think about. <laughs> is, is, is Lance, uh, Mr. Lance gives the best off spinner this world has seen? I don't know. You must tell me that. <laughs> no. I should I, be saying that. No, but uh, any other off spinner you really, really enjoyed watching? You saw a reflection of you, your, J your Jim strategy. Laker. Okay. Right. Yeah. And he bowled particularly well at Manchester. Yeah. He got 19 wickets. Yeah. No matter what you do, you could take that away from him. Yeah. 19 Vegas in a test match. Yeah. That's unheard of. Unheard of. Absolutely. So you can lift a, a, a laptop because you're... Yeah, I can I can see your face completely. So, mm. uh, are you... How much, more, how much more time have we got? So we have uh, a little more. I mean, I, I hope I'm not boring you that much. <laughs> no, 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 not really. Not really. Not... But... To some extent, yes, I'm boring you, it seems. <laughs> uh, well, it's like you're bat in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I, 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 I in touch with your cousin, Sir Clive Lloyd. Uh, how is yes, he doing? Yes, yes, yes. Quite good, quite good. We are very friendly. Yeah. He, I mean, do you, yeah. do you have memories with him? I mean, you played together so much uh, for, for the country. So, can you share some memories? He, well, he, he was selected for the first time in Trinidad yeah. to play for Guyana. Yeah. And he didn't play in the first test match. Okay. And he went to Barbados. I was captain. Yeah. And he played in the second test. He, he made a knot and then he made a knot in the first innings and a hundred in the second innings. Yeah. And Jerry Gomez, who was the selector at the time, yeah. said he didn't see Lloyd even though he made nearly 200 in, uh, in the Leeward Games. Okay. So he had to wait. He lost out in going to England in 63. Yeah. But he went in 66. Okay. So which, which uh, batsman uh, impressed you the most in, in your whole uh, career as, as a bowler? I mean, someone you really enjoyed getting his wicket uh, could could be from the West Indies also. I mean, from the West Indies, I'd say Peter Lashley was not a bad fellow to bowl at, and probably get out. Okay. He, he worked out things quite well. Okay. Lawrence Rowe was a great player, as I said before. Okay. Uh, Seymour Nurse didn't make much runs against me. But, you know, all in all, I think they, they, they were great players in, in all the countries that you played cricket in. Some that work on Gibbs's bowling, whilst Gibbs would work on their batting, you know. Yeah. And, and as you, you work things out, you, you get results or you don't get results. Okay. So you said England, England batsmen played you uh, quite well. I mean... Then there came a phase that England England batsmen couldn't play spinners that well, you know. In recent well, they, 
people would say they kick the ball a lot. They, they, never, they never hit it with the bat. Okay. They played with the pads. Okay. Because the rules and regulations co governing the game were such that it changed drastically every from now, from A to B, as the case may be, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the, the front foot rule, fellas would play with the bat behind the pads. Yeah. But yet at the same time, they're not playing at the ball. They're kicking it. Okay. So th these are things that you try to nullify, you know, make sure that you do different things to get them out. Okay. I, I played with uh, MJK Smith and Alan Smith from Warwickshire. Yeah. And they were students of the game, you know. They would turn to you and Lance, say, Lance, if you're bowling at John James, do this or do that, as the case may be, because they study certain things. And we had a great, great... Uh, years at Warwickshire. I enjoyed okay. playing for Warwickshire. Okay. And as I've said, both Alan and Mike Smith were students of the game and they knew it inside out. That's so you, 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 when you're playing this game, you need help. What they would tell me is of importance. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have this tournament in India called IPL, which has really been a success in this part of the world. Uh, IPL is a is a twenty over game. Twenty over game, yes, yes, and we 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 getting a lot of success. Indian, we're getting a lot of uh, talent out of it. A lot of people are getting a uh, uh, lot of you know. You don't have to play for India. That's the sentiment here. You don't have to play for India anymore to to make money as a professional cricketer. You can also get an IPL contract and make you money. So it's it's lot. Uh, club driven than than the country. There is a sort of thing which we see in the West Indies cricket. So, what is your take on club versus country debate? Mm. I am not a lover of the twenty over game because, as as a bowler, I find it is a slug light. You know, they they, they hit the ball all over the place without looking to see what is happening. Yeah. So it's, it's limited to a certain extent. Yeah. Uh, so if you can lift but, your laptop a little bit, sorry to interrupt. The, the great, the great players that we've had. Yeah. Could work things out and and bat particularly well. Yeah. From their their background, you know. Yeah. Okay. That's lovely. So I just want to know, you know, we 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 keep hearing one thing about the racial discrimination, which is still there. We heard. Recently, a uh, lot of lot of people talking about it. A lot of West Indies cricketers talking about it. The class uh, divide, the racial discrimination. So, how was it uh, during your time? Did you face anything of that sort during your time? Not really, not really. You 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 show respect to individuals that you should respect, and you you do the right things. And uh, coming up as a boy, you know, I was taught certain things to do, and I passed a whole lot on to Clive. And he came captain of the West Indies as well. Yeah. So if you do the right things, you really can't go wrong. Cricket is a great game and we shouldn't really destroy it in any way. Absolutely. So, you know, uh, you, one of your friends, Mr. Dave Cameron, is also uh, trying to, uh, you know, uh, uh, be part of the ICC. He's, he's trying for the ICC chairmanship. He's also, and you know, in ICC, we always heard about you know the, the 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 class divide you know the race divide the color of the skin the white versus black we have heard so much of our, when we started covering cricket so why why is it not changing according to you things have to change so much of education so much of exposure so much of social media so much of awareness why is it not changing sir well that's a difficult question for me to answer uh I respect individuals if they are put in positions to, to, to do certain things. I think they should do it to the best of their ability. Okay. Uh, a fellow like Cameron, for example, has been president of the West Indies Cricket Board. Yeah. And it's an honor that is bestowed on very few. Yeah. And if you, if you reach to that extent, it's obvious that somewhere along the line you're liked and therefore 
I would like to compliment him on on being promoted in the position that he. Yeah. So can you lift your laptop? I mean, you're. Yeah. Uh, so do you? Yeah. Think sorry about that. No, no, it's all right. Uh, uh, do you think cricketers can make uh, can become good administrators as well? Yeah, they certainly can. I see no reason why they should not. You you go through the administrators in in world cricket, yeah. and they're all former players. Yeah. You know. Richie Beno, uh, Frank Worrell. You, you go through them and you would find all the great cricketers or individuals that are respected and liked. And, you know, we should encourage them to the best of our ability. Uh, do, you, do you still uh, feel, uh, uh, you know, that urge to go to a cricket field and watch a good test match? I love that. I love that. I, I, I love to see fellas thinking the game and, and working on things, you know, the more you, you work on a game, yeah. is, the, is the more you're going to enjoy it. So why you didn't take to coaching ever? Because you know so much, you've, you've had so many success, you know, in, as a test cricketer, you studied the batsman so well, why, why didn't you venture into coaching? My children force. Okay. <laughs> My kids first. They they had to go to university, and they. My daughter's a top class lawyer. My son is a, a business administrator, so they've done particularly well. But I had to look after them the, the best possible way. And you look great. So you're in, in in you 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 you. It can't get better the way you look, and it's so inspiring talking to you. I can't believe my luck that I'm talking to, talking to you, a legend like you. Really. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, and you know what I really also uh, like the fact that you, you are such a tall spinner. You could, one last question I have, you could fly the ball so well. How do you do that? Well, each batsman, you, 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 you work out. You work out a batsman, you don't fly to every batsman, you know. Okay. There, there's some that would play from the crease. There were some that would come down the track. So it depends on the batsman and his, his ability and how best you could bowl in order to contain and then get him out. Which Indian batsman played you the best? Mandraka was not a bad player. Okay, Vijay Mandraka. Uh, Omrigar. Okay. They, they were two top men. Sardesai. Okay. Uh, uh, it, it seems if I'm going through the entire team. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, really. <laughs> But Paul Umrigar was a was a great player. He was a great player. Yeah. So you you plan to visit India at some point? To well, you never you never know. There's still a long a long time to go. A lot of time to to use up. So you never could tell what would happen. Your one of your uh, former colleagues, uh, Mr. Rohan Kanai, keeps coming to India. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, his background is India as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's a, not, he's, a, he's a good batsman. Great batsman. Great batsman. Yeah. So, you know, hope to see you, you know, once, uh, I mean, face to face once you come here. And Thank uh, you. And it, was, it was really a, a pleasure, you know, talking to you. And you, you came on SK Live. It was really and such a short notice. So, I wish you a happy health and stay safe. And uh, best wishes to your family, to your wife. She was really kind. And uh, to your son and daughter, wish them all the best. Thank you, you very on. much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. And you came on the show. It was really a pleasure, uh, you know, having you as a guest. Thanks, Indranil. Thank you, sir. Have a good Cheerio. day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.